good morning everybody from Magic Kingdom. We're here for a rope drop. Yes, today we're actually going to be doing a lot of new things and a lot of updates are happening here at the Magic Kingdom. Yes, specifically Tomorrowland. We're going to stick in the Tomorrowland area. They have new merch for Tron and then they have new food in Tomorrowland. And yeah. it looks like it's better. Yeah, we haven't been this early to a park in a really long time. No, seriously. Like, they have <laughs> like new breakfast items here at the Magic Kingdom that we have not tried. We have not yeah. tried any breakfast items like at all for any park. We never come this early. I know, I know. And also it feels like cold. Like we're both wearing jackets. I'm wearing the sweater vest Ooh. from the Disney Springs video. If you haven't seen, I'll put the link in the description down below, but I just bought it from the Disney Springs um, World of Disney store. So we also wanted to say thank you to all the people who've subscribed to our channel because honestly, we never thought we were gonna get to 600 and now our goal is 700 and we hope that we could get there and we hope that you guys can keep joining us on these real adventures and real magical adventures, whatever you wanna <laughs> call them. But seriously, thank you so much. And if you guys have any input on what type of videos you guys like so we can keep growing, we would love to hear that info in the comments yeah. because we wanna grow with you guys. We love, we love making videos. I know we were like lacking a little bit, but it's because we had school and you know, all the life stuff. But <laughs> now we're here at Magic Kingdom because we wanted to officially end out school come here and just have a really good day here and have a real awesome day yeah. here at Magic Kingdom. So yeah. let's go inside the park now. Let's go. We're making our way through the Emporium. Dude, there's like and nobody in here. By you the should, way, it's spring break. Yes, totally forgot about that. Oh my God, sorry, I got distracted. It's spring break, it just started. So we're gonna kind of see what the, the crowd levels are like because honestly, it doesn't look like there's a lot of people but they come in like big crowds. So how much longer do you think all this 50th merch is gonna last here? Dude, isn't it supposed to be this is the last month, March? Yeah, so right? like in two weeks basically it's the That's last it. day. So then that means this merch is probably gonna go to the character warehouse. So we should probably do an update of the character warehouse yeah. soon. See if all the 50th is there. Dude. Like cause look at remember these bags? When they came out, these were like the second the second rollout for the 50th. Mm -hmm. And people were buying these like crazy. And now look at there's a bunch. Yeah, there's a lot. And then there's just a lot of, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of leftover 50th merch. For maybe at like, I would say like a good month or so, they're gonna leave this by little bits and pieces. But and I then did they're hear, gonna take out more. I did hear that they're taking some decorations out already. Like where, oh, the, really? like where the hub is, the central hub. Question. So then what's going to happen with the little statues, with the magic oh, band? Oh, magic band? We just Are found they... our magic band. I know. <laughs> Sorry, it's we like not, lost... my, we... it's not my favorite Disney tool, but it's like not my not we favorite had, one. We had lost it for a while. I was like, where is that magic band? Yeah, it was band? like one of my backpacks. But we found it. <laughs> so obviously we don't use oh, it. Oh, by the way, last night was cast member... Uh, preview for preview. Happily Ever After. It's coming back. I know. Honestly, I didn't even know that they had previews. But you know what? They do this where you only work in Magic Kingdom then you're the only ones who get to come to the preview. Yeah. And since us, we're kind of like floating around, sometimes we don't get the, you know, taking advantage of those opportunities. Of those opportunities, yeah. yeah. Well, I was driving my bus backstage, mm -hmm. taking cast members basically back home. Oh, I know what you're gonna say. I saw where they actually put the- Fireworks? Fireworks. It's like this big box, it's like really cool. Oh well, yeah, like a, like a fireworks yeah, box? Yeah, all the cast members <laughs> were, were really excited. This was like two weeks ago, where like they were previewing the music again, and maybe oh. there's gonna be something new. What if they bring something extra? Maybe, maybe. I know a lot of people liked it because of the two people who sang it. That Jordan Fisher guy, and yeah. then I don't remember the girl's name, but if you guys know, let me know in the comments because yeah, we're gonna I have, really like her when voice. We come, when we, when we uh, look at the... Maybe uh, we'll come one time. And we'll bring our magic night. band. And we'll, we'll come in the night. And we'll bring our magic band. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good plan, good plan. This is what rope drop looks like at the Magic Kingdom. Yeah, everybody's running. Don't run. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna fall. Charge! Don't charge. Don't More charge. Light. Don't, I was gonna say, do what Turbo does, but Turbo is like fast. So do what <laughs> the people in Turbo, the other snails do. Just go slow. But they all go fast. Nice Why are you talking steady. about Turbo? Nice and steady. Turbo is not Disney. I know it's not. It's okay. I couldn't think of anything else. Light of a queen? Go like Mater. <laughs> Light of a queen, yeah, go like Mater. But he's not slow either. Who's slow? It's the one, the one about the old lady. She's like, I wasn't talking to you, crazy. I don't remember. For cars? Oh my god. Never mind. The launching pad is where the breakfast is gonna be, but it is not on the mobile order app yet. So you have to get it here. Like you have to 
come in person to actually get the breakfast mm -hmm. and we'll show you guys the menu in a little bit i never noticed the lunch launching pad is called the lunching pad not oh, the launching yeah. pad is that That's, you no, are you it's sure it's always like been the launching pad i swear it has i swear i was called the launching pad no it's the launching pad but here's the breakfast Oh yeah, are we gonna get both or are we just gonna get the breakfast bowl? So they have the breakfast bowl which is the potato barrels topped with a cheese omelet mm -hmm. with chili con, con carne, carne, queso and sour cream and mm -hmm. then they have the sticky bubble bread which is kind of, it reminds me of like monkey bread, right? Yeah, it is, it's literally that. It's yeah. monkey bread. And also, look at that, look at where it says on the dining plan, it says dining plan, it's like oh, a purple. Oh yeah, but just the, the monkey bread one. Not this one. That is so weird. They don't. They haven't rolled out no. the dining plan in such a long time. So we got it, and actually, it's pretty heavy. It's like, look. Oh my like, god. Like, it's loud. It's heavy. It's a. It's, that's how you know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wanted to show you. Like, it's a heavy <laughs> meal, so you're getting a lot. So that means it's worth it already. How much was it? Uh, ten seventy nine. Okay, so for eleven dollars, you get a pretty good amount. You get hash browns, there's like the queso fundido, which it looks like it, it has like not just the cheese, you know what I mean? Like it looks like a pepper, and then they give you some tomatoes, onions, sour cream, and then there's cheese inside of the omelet. And there's carnitas where, I don't know where the carnitas are at. Yeah, I guess it's this, this tiny bit. So, oh. I would say it's a lot of food, but there's not a lot of meat. But I mean, if you're trying to get a good, like hefty meal, I think it's a good meal, but. Let's see how it tastes, because that's really the what matters. I want to get it with everything. So I got hash, hash brown, well hash brown, they call sour barrels. cream, and then I got the queso fundido, a tomato, and the cheese too. If you could hear the crunch, that's the, what do you call them, potato barrels? Oh, tater tots, basically. You know what it tastes like? And you're gonna like it. It's probably one of our favorite things that's new here at Magic Kingdom. It's the walking taco. Oh, okay. It tastes just like the walking taco, just with egg. So I like it compared to like, cause we talked about this, there's not a lot of good food options here oh, well, for breakfast. For breakfast, yeah. But this, I think if we come for breakfast, I would come to get this every time. It's pretty good. I'm gonna yeah. get another bite before you taste it. Cause you're gonna want, you're gonna like it. It's not spicy. Nothing like that. It's just cheesy and then the queso molido kind of like makes the tater tots more soft. There's Ooh. some crunchy ones, but it makes it a little soft, you know? It's a really good breakfast item. Maybe next time we could taste um, that, the monkey bread one. Yeah. Well, not monkey bread, but you know what I mean. But yeah, it's good. I honestly give it like a, for breakfast, I would give it 8.5 out of 10 because it's not like hot. But it's quick service, so. Technically, yeah, it's quick service. It's give give and take, you know there, what I mean? Yeah, there are other quick service restaurants here, uh, like Sleepy Hollow, mm -hmm. Gustav's Tavern has like that cinnamon roll, which I think it's a good option for dessert. But as far as like restaurants go and quick service res uh, quick service places here in the Magic Kingdom, there's not really a lot to offer. Yeah, like for breakfast. Yeah, so this is, uh, hopefully they start rolling out more breakfast. Mm -hmm. But I was just, we were just talking about this last night, um, mm -hmm. that a lot of people when they come on vacation, they, don't really have breakfast inside the parks. They kind of just mm. wait. Or they do it before coming inside the parks because you want to maximize your time here. Yes, yes. If you have your plan, you want to go, you want to get on as many rides as you can, mm. watch as many shows as you can. And usually having breakfast is something you do at your hotel like or before like you come in, like mm -hmm. quick breakfast. Like when I came, when I was a kid with, with my dad, breakfast was cereal in the resort. Yeah. That was breakfast because He's, he's right, you're 100% right. You wanna maximize your whole day. And most of the sit, most of the breakfast places here are sit down, yeah. which is kind of lame. A lot of us don't wanna go and sit down. Some of us do, which is fine if you wanna take that time out of your day. But if you're trying to get the most out of the parks, yeah, you're not you gonna only, wanna do that. You only really have two hours to get breakfast, get breakfast yeah. which is a really short time compared to yeah. lunch and dinner, so. Yeah, and it's like, this was rope drop. So if you don't rope drop, you don't, you don't get breakfast. Drop, you, don't get you breakfast. get lunch. Yeah. There yeah. are other parks that have really good breakfast uh, items, like the mm -hmm. breakfast Ronto wrap at Hollywood Studios. Oh my god, yeah, that was uh, so Galaxy's good. Galaxy's Edge is really good. And I love. I wish we could go there today because I've been really craving the coffee. 
the Cocoa Puffs one? Oh. Oh, I thought you were, I thought you were gonna say, I wish we could go so we could meet Grogu. Oh, but that too, Mandalorian. did you guys see that? Oh my God, I saw it on Instagram, it's so cute. He's yeah. so tiny, he like moves his little head. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, as far as breakfast items go, uh, I still haven't even tried it. I know, you need to try it because <laughs> it's good, trust me. He's making sure that he's getting all the bits and pieces. Oh yeah. Like, you would come to get this again, right? If it was a hot meal, I bet it would have been like way better, but it's quick service, right? Yeah, so it's, it's like- it's quick service. So the tater tots are like extra crispy, mm -hmm. which is, I really like, you know, I like my tater tots on my fries really extra crispy. So the eggs, I was just saying earlier, the eggs are kind of like theme park eggs, if you know what I mean, like folded yeah, you eggs. Yeah, you could tell right here. Like the powdered eggs, right? Yeah, like the military eggs that they make in bunch. I'm sure it's not that because I mean, we've seen them when they make eggs, yeah. they like crack them all together. Yeah. But yeah, but I think, yeah. but honestly, the cheese is still cheesing. Yeah, so. the cheese is good, the sour cream is good. Everything is good. I wish I could taste the carnitas though. Yeah. I think they, they're skimping a little bit on the carnitas. Like, where are the carnitas? I, where are the carnitas in here? Like, if they say if there's carnitas in here, there should be like, I would expect there to be a little bit more meat. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. It's kind of disappointing. But that's why I was uh, saying it's like an 8.5 because it's like, it's good on flavor, but if it was hot and it would have had more meat, yeah. I think it would have been a solid breakfast item. Yeah, and also, I wish there was like a sauce that they would give you, like a Ooh, hot sauce. Yes. Just to give it that extra. A little salsita. Yeah, because you have carnitas. <laughs> when you have carnitas, you have to have chili. I guess that's the point of the tomatoes. It's kind of like a sauce, like mm. a tomato. You know it's, what I mean? It's more like, a, what do you call it? Cowboy caviar? It's not cowboy caviar, uh. but it's okay. <laughs> It's a, uh, what, what do they call it? Pico de gallo. Oh, yes, yes, yes. But, yeah, but now it's raining. But now so it's now raining. we need to eat our food and then we can go look at the new Tron merch. Yeah. Because it's like right behind us. So it'll be perfect timing to go look at that. Yeah. So I wanted to make a point of this. This is why I give it an 8.5 out of 10 because look, it's portable. You could just walk and eat. So if you need to get to your ride, like Space Mountain, because it's right there, you could just eat while you're waiting in line. As long as you're done before we, you get on the ride, you're fine. So this is convenient and I like that. But now we're gonna head over to the store. He's all the way over there. Now we're gonna head over to the store because we wanna see all the new merch. And there's like a new food stand for, tomor for Tomorrowland, for Tron. Yeah, for Tron. <laughs> so if you can see over there, you probably can't see it, but Space Mountain is already at an 85 minute wait. I know. And, and the park just opened like nine, Technically minutes 19 ago. minutes ago, yeah. yeah. But right now, <laughs> if you guys can see that, that, that building right here, Tomorrow on Launch Depot, is where they have all the Tron merch. Yeah, and I think that's gonna be the place for the Tron merch. Yeah. So, so hopefully they, they let us in. Change of plans, we can't go inside, but we wanted to show you at least where the booth is. It's right there, it's right by Tron. And I'll put the menu the menu up so you guys can see what they're gonna have. But they're like they call them energy bites. Yeah. So we'll see if they're gonna be good. That's yeah. as close as I'm gonna get to show you guys the actual booth. Like Alondra said, we'll show you guys the menu and stuff like on the yeah. screen. But we <laughs> we thought we were gonna be able to show you guys the merch and everything, which is yeah. totally not available. I think they might show. They it's let. not gonna be available until next month, probably when the ride opens. Yeah. We just. We saw on Instagram that, you know, you could see those things, but unfortunately in tiny little letters, it says <laughs> hashtag media event. Yeah. And unfortunately, we're not good enough for, media, good enough for media event <laughs> yet. So, <laughs> Manifesting yet. No, it's okay because when they actually let you go into the store mm -hmm. and, you know, we can actually try some of the food, We'll make a video then, but for yeah. now, that's as close as you're gonna get. Yeah, so now we're trying to figure out what we're gonna do. So I guess it'll be a surprise to you guys. Yeah. So we decided to get on Winnie the Pooh. It was a 35 minute wait. Yeah, that was the shortest wait compared to all the other rides. <laughs> so, but I haven't been on this Winnie the Pooh here. Yeah. I don't know if it's the same as Rental the one that they They have a lot yeah. of interactive things here though. Yeah, like a lot for kids. But we get to get in the front. Yay. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh my 
I just came into the store that's in front of the Speedway and look, Tron merch, Tron merch. And this backpack's really cool and it's really big. It'd be really cool if they had like a light mechanism for this so you could see it glowing in the dark or like see some of these have like little lights on them. That would be really cool. But this is a really tall backpack. It's not a short backpack compared to the regular size. It's tall, but it's cool. And this, this is like a shiny plastic right here. And this is like a matte. But I saw that the backpack is $95, which is a lot of money for a lounge fly backpack. I guess because it's special because I saw this up one which is so cute they're like stitched I like that they're like embroidered on there because they like stand out in 3d like the little house it's like 3d and then they have like a little print but this backpack is $75 so it's cheaper than the Tron one but the Tron one is taller so I guess it makes sense but I came in here too because I saw they have new ears and these are super cute and i'm noticing that a lot of these like adult ears are starting to become like more stretchy and more light which i love because i don't know if you guys heard me talk about the beaded ears they're a little like um tight sometimes you have to pick out the right one but they have these and it's like a corduroy finish with like a denim bow which is really cute i like that and the bow is like really fluffy and then they have these yellow ones i don't know if these yellow ones are like bell because it's giving bell but then it's not but these are light like super super light i kind of want to try them on because they're like so bright but it's cute i like it let me try them on so i kind of have to crouch down so you could see them but they're cute they're like super cute and the bow is like a fluffy squishy bow and they're super light and they're comfy which is like a huge difference because the ones i was talking about are these when I tried these on, it was just, I don't know. These are, I like these, they're cute, but it was really tight, the headband. So I like that they're going with like a looser feel. But these are cute actually, you know? I kind of like them. I wasn't crouching down, but these are cute. But I did also notice because these ones didn't have a price. So anything that doesn't have a price, it says it's $34.99. So anything that doesn't have a price is $34.99. So earbands are $34.99 unless otherwise marked. Now that we left the store, we're back to the lunching pad because now we get to try the hot dog. Yeah. I think we already kind of know which hot dog we want to try. We're trying the banh mi one, right? Yeah, the banh mi yeah. one. I just feel like that one sounds the most interesting, so I want to try it, and I heard it's good. These are the three new hot dogs that they have here at the launching pad. They have a queso fundido hot dog, a banh mi hot dog, and a Cuban hot dog. Uh, I think we're gonna get the banh mi hot dog. It just seems like the best out of all of them. We got here the banh mi hot dog. I showed you guys earlier. Uh, kind of a lot of the stuff that it has in it, but it has cilantro, has uh, sriracha mayo, it has onions, I think it has carrots in it. Essentially a banh mi hot dog. Um, it looks really good from here. Yeah. It looks like the less messiest out of all the other ones. On the tortilla one, I think it was like tortilla, I forget it was tortilla fundido. Yeah. The queso fundido one. That one looked really messy, but this one just looks really good. Yeah, that one looks like it's gonna taste good. But you're the hot dog connoisseur, so I think you should go first. I'm, I'm a little worried about the cilantro because cilantro gets stuck in my teeth a lot. You can always put it to the side. No, but I still want it with oh, like, okay. all of it. <laughs> But I'm just saying that might happen, so I do apologize in advance. Okay. If I have a green tooth. Okay. But let's try it. Cheers. So good. Yeah, you have sauce on your on your chinny chin chin. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so this one is actually really good. I do, I, it's obviously spicy because it has the spicy mayo in it. I think oh, it's it does? Mayo, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So if it's, it's if you don't really like spice, it's probably not for you. Okay. Um, but I like it because we obviously like spicy food. But it's just a hot dog, you know, it's twelve twenty nine, and you get the chips and then you also get like an orange, right? I didn't get an orange, I got chips. Oh, well you get a chip. Oh, okay. Oh, um, but yeah, it's super good. The hot dog is like an all beef hot dog, so that's always good, yeah. right? It looks and, good. And I took a really big bite, so. It looks like you got everything to try everything. Yeah, I think the cilantro, like all the toppings, like the carrots and the cucumber, the slaw, the slaw it's all really good. Okay. I think I like this. I think I would have liked this one the best, even if I had tried the other ones. Okay. Because I'm telling you, it's not like as messy. And one thing I don't like about hot dogs is like 
uh, when you add like too many toppings on top, it starts to get messy, and yeah, yeah, yeah. You have yeah. to start like scraping things with a fork around it. And, <laughs> like, if you just want like something where you can just straight up just eat it like this and take a bite out of it without having to worry about things getting messy, yeah, I think this one's for you. Cause yeah, you should try this. I want to try it. Like it. Yeah. Jail. I like it with the slaw. Yeah, the slaw's really good. It gives it like a sweet, crunchy. Like a tangy flavor mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. And I'm not a, like a big hot dog person, but I think this is good. I like it. Woo. 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They didn't go too crazy, which is what I like. I didn't like. I like that they didn't go too crazy mm -hmm. with it. Yeah, you're right. Everything is like perfectly balanced. There wasn't too much sauce. There wasn't too much slaw. It was just perfect. Like if it was a sandwich, that would be good too. Well, that's what. Uh, no, so like they have like banh mi sandwiches, which is what they take it from yeah uh, but they just put it on a hot dog basically i think it was good yeah i would say come here for breakfast and then come for lunch yeah at two and two and it's convenient and it's fast you can carry it around i just want to talk about buzz lightyear ride is 50 minute wait that's crazy buzz lightyear is 50 minutes i'm sorry i could not ignore ignore that <laughs> 50 minutes 45 but it's basically 50 minutes. Basically. It's basically 50 minutes. But yeah, this hot dog is really good. Um, I like it a lot. I know there was like the other options, but I feel you like I'm on the same level with you where I feel like, I don't know if I want the queso fanido one because I want something light. And that's definitely what this is like giving. It's giving light flavoring, light, not a heavy meal on the go. So I like it. It was worth it. I think for the price, it was worth it. And you get chips. Yes. These are always good. I don't know why, but these are always good. At the parks, too. Yeah. You know what? Sometimes they, they do go like pretty crazy with the uh, with the hot dogs here. Uh, I hope that this place becomes like how Award Wieners is in DCA. Because Award Wieners, if you guys don't know, it's like a hot dog place. But they come up with like these crazy concoctions of hot dogs. Like they had one that had like little like french fried potato slices with like a uh, queso fresco and then I had some like sauce on it and well let's clear the air this is not even close to it's not to award wieners okay but I'm That's saying called award wieners for a reason I'm just saying, I hope that that's what Disney's trying to do, you know, like explore a little bit more, giving you more options instead of just the burger, yeah. you know what I mean? It's still like, you know, it's still quick service, so you would expect like quick service, but it's still just a decent hot dog to me. Yeah, I think this was a really good day, even though it, we didn't, things didn't go to plan, I think like us trying these food items made me feel better about quick service foods here at Magic Kingdom. Yeah. If that makes sense to you. Yes. Yeah. And also, they didn't start serving this until like 10.30ish, right? Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, at 10.30 you can uh, order the hot dogs. Before that, it's only the breakfast. Yeah. So, if you want the hot dog, come at 10.30. So, here are some of the crowds coming into the Magic Kingdom. It's like two hours in. And while we were talking, while we were eating the Bami sandwich, no more than three minutes the buzz lightyear ride went up to 75 minutes yeah <laughs> like three minutes so basically it's packed yeah it's packed <laughs> so expect the spring break crowds to come in yeah like in really best. soon and it doesn't even feel like spring it's it's still it's so cold cold today it's still cold it's not like that cold but for florida it's my cold. joints are killing me my fingers are like cold yeah. Like, you know when you like have to go like this? Sometimes yeah. my fingers like move like really slow because I'm like, bubbles. it hurts. But yeah. I'm like, bubbles. <laughs> yeah, but we're heading out into that massive crowd. Yeah. Over there, we're heading out. Yeah, because there's, for us to have to wait that long, it's, that's a long way. It's a long way. I'm sorry. But we'll come back and get on the ride another time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody prepared for the, the cold. cold. Everybody's in here to buy sweaters. Like, literally everybody's in here to buy sweaters. 
Yeah, because I, I just kept hear, hearing people talk like, it's cold, it's cold. Yeah, yeah, like so, literally, like, you just see people with, like, Because two days ago, it was hot. Yes, it was, like, literally in the 90s. I feel like a, a fish swimming upstream. I know. Compared to when we got here in the morning, look at the huge difference. Yeah. Like, this is huge. We had a really awesome day here at the Magic Kingdom. Yes, we did, dude. That place upgraded big time. Yeah. And I'm really happy that it did. And I hope that that means that they're going to show, they're going to start bringing out like way more better foods, I guess. Yeah, because I think there's going to be a lot more people going into Tomorrowland than before because of Tron. Mm. So I think that's why they're updating Facts. some of the menu items. So yeah. hopefully they add more stuff. I do apologize. Well, we do apologize uh, for not showing you guys. <laughs> the But this little booth that they're adding yeah. in front of Tron. It's going to be right right before you get to Tron. It's like right on the left side. Yeah. But it's okay though. You know what? We're going to come back and it gives us a reason to come back. Yeah. So... But, but that it was, was really, really fun. nice. The, yes. The hot dog was good. Yes. The, all the stuff that we, the two things that we tried were really good. Yeah. And so. we also got to see like some new merch because we saw like the new ears that I showed and then Tron backpack. That yeah. backpack was cool and it was big, but it was a lot of money. Yeah. So. <laughs> so that was actually the last time we are here for the probably the 50th, 50th uh, anniversary or celebration. Yeah. But I'm, I'm kind of sad, but I'm like also like, okay, I think it's a bittersweet kind moved, of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like we're moving on now. We're ready for the 100th stuff. 100th? Well, like well, because there's like this, the 60th. This, well, yeah, but the six that that's not, they're not going to have that yet. Right now they're putting all the 100 stuff out because of the 100 years of wonder. Oh, that's what you mean. I was yes, like, 100 years of <laughs> Disney World? What? No. <laughs> still like, I don't even know if I'll be alive by, by then. <laughs> I don't think we will, <laughs> but, but I'm saying like the 100 years of wonder merch because, you know, they always do like face. Yeah. So maybe we'll come back when they do like the next round of yeah. merch. Yeah, we probably we will for sure. Yeah. But thank you guys for watching us. Reeling Reel the, the magic. magic. Bye. Bye.